everybody, this is Steve with the Mr. Big Kid channel. Thank you all for watching, thank you all for tuning in. I'm here with John from True Shot. Hey guys, how's it going? So we have a little video today and it's gonna be comparing our OG Snubby revolvers. So he has a Colt Detective Special. Is there another name or designation for that? I believe it's just the, the uh, Detective Special. Okay, and this one's the Smith & Wesson Model 36 Chief Special. So basically they came out in the same era, what, 60s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 50s, 60s around there? 70s, yeah. So my particular one is uh, was actually purchased from a detective back in the 70s by my father. So this is the chief special and um, This has been in my family well longer than I have <laughs> so it's older than me um, But this is the model 36. So this is a five shot 38 special and uh, I think there has been some kind of work done on it, it has a very very smooth action um, That being said, it's also a very old gun. So Obviously, over time, things wear down, get comfortable. Uh, what's yours? So this is a Colt Detective Special. I purchased this on the surplus market. This gun came from uh, Puerto Rico. Uh, as far as I know, it was not fired until we shot it, and it was dropped once. If you can see the crown, it's got a really nice ding on the crown. But uh, I got this from Aim Surplus. Love those guys over there, so I'll give them a, a good shout out. This is a six shot. This gun in particular was made in 1973. Uh, other than that, it's got one more shot than his, so it automatically wins. <laughs> <laughs> Except it's bigger, and bigger isn't always better. It, it was very tough, so obviously when we're both out shooting, we're a little biased towards our own guns. He likes his Colt, I like my Smith & Wesson. Some things that they both have in common are extremely crispy triggers. His potentially is a little bit better than mine, um, only because I think when we had John test the guns out, or Jonathan from Tactical Toolbox, he said this trigger was a little bit better. But let's be honest, he said he also hated them both. I need some spurs. <laughs> so initial impressions before you fire it, what do you think? Eh, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> good, good impressions. It's hard. <laughs> I don't like them. I mean, it feels tiny, yep. clunky. And I feel like I'm not gonna hit, but I'm gonna try. But... Yeah. I missed two, I think. I, I couldn't tell. All right, let me try the other one. Which one is this one? That's a Smith & Wesson Chief Special. Chief! Chief. And this is the detective. That's a Model yeah. 36. So this is low on the totem pole right here, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, oh yeah, you get the six shot with the detective. Well, I guess it makes sense. Chief ain't out fighting crime. That's right. <laughs> Uh. Yeah, they both kind of suck in my opinion. There's some raw footage of me shooting both guns. And when, when I shot the Smith and I shot the Colt, I remember I looked up over at you and I said, I, I don't want to be biased, so you shoot it and we felt them to that, together. So, oh, hold on. oh wait, let's wait. Right. So, I like it, yeah. right? I want you to shoot the Colt, and then we'll compare. Because I'm telling you right now, I hate to be biased, but it is, there's no comparison. Yeah, definitely a lot different triggers. Yeah. Um, this one almost like, and it's not a bad thing, but there's almost like a hesitation. Like you feel that wall that you're just about to break at, right. but there's no wall. It's like, you just know when the break point is. But I feel like the Colt, and I'm going to be biased now, because it is my gun. <laughs> uh, the Colt's got a little bit smoother trigger, but I do like the trigger texture on the Smith better. So the Colt's got a smoother trigger. It seems like it's, there's some internal work that's a little bit smoother. You can tell where it's, there, the take up is, where it ends, and when it's about to break. The Smith, I couldn't tell as much, but the the cuts in the trigger made the Smith easier to pull while the Colt's got a smooth uh, trigger. Both of these guns, you can see the hammer is exposed on them, so you can fire them in double action or single action mode. 
little lesson for you guys, double action is when you pull that trigger from its initial starting point, what you're doing is you're cocking the hammer back, you're rotating the cylinder and releasing the hammer. So that's what's gonna be your double action pull. Your single action, what you do is you take this hammer, you pull it back and you can see it actually stages the trigger and then you're ready to go. So the only thing the trigger is responsible for is releasing that hammer. It takes a 10 plus pound trigger pull down to less than three pound trigger pull, depending on your trigger. I actually put this gun on a trigger scale and I was sitting at about two pounds, 10 ounces for a single action trigger pull. And it did not register the weight of a double action pull. So the thing is, it's a heavy, it's a heavy double action pull, but it's a very smooth double action pull. And that goes for both of these. And I imagine that trigger is gonna be breaking well below three pounds as well. Let's do a little compare and contrast real quick. Okay. Um, so things I like about the Colt and things I like about the Smith. Colt, love the shrouded uh, ejection rod. Yeah, ejector rod. Me too. So that's protected. Um, I do like the six shots. What I like about the Smith that I don't like about the Colt is the way the cylinder opens. I do like the push forward instead of pull back. Mm -hmm. And I also do like how the hammer is wider. It's a little hard to probably pick up on camera, but this is a wider, easier to grab hammer over the Colt. It's like comparing a Ferrari to a Lamborghini. They're both going to run and drive until something goes catastrophically wrong. <laughs> right. No, that's a good way to put it. And actually, I pretty much agree with all those talking points. I think this has a cooler, beefier look to it, probably because of the shrouded ejector rod. And then um, you do have your front sight post kind of is a little bit longer, so it gives you like a little beefier of a front sight, it looks like. I can't compare and contrast grips because I've never had the original grips for this. These are Packmeyers that were put on a long time ago, um, well before my dad even bought this gun a long time ago. So they do make Packmeyers for this gun. So essentially one of the complaints that Jonathan had when he shot it was he likes the grip of my gun, which is not really a fair complaint because the same grip can be put on this gun as well. Um, I, I agree, These this gun stays in my hand a little bit better than this because this is a shiny uh, wooden grip. Whereas this thing has a little bit of stippling, it's got some finger, well it has stippling too. This has finger grooves and it just kind of molds to your hand better than just your typical curved revolver. And I think somebody put it in the comments um, in one of our teasers that it's, with, with these two guns, a lot of people see the Smith as a workhorse and the Colt is that showpiece. Okay. Did you say that's a, a fair comparison? Or? I think so. I think, well, you have the nickel-plated gun. So the nickel is strong, but there is a certain point where you start getting dents and dings where it can actually kind of like flake a little bit. Or I'm not gonna say flake, but um, you can break through that nickel plating. And you can and, see it here. I don't know if that'll yep. pick up. You can see where it's kind of flaking and dinging and and where it's been never fired. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the difference is this is stainless. So the, the Model 36, the Chief Special, this one's stainless. Um, that means if it gets dented or dinged or scratched, it's still gonna be stainless under that dent. Whereas the nickel plating, and I'll do a close up, you can kind of see where uh, that nickel plating gets busted through and you can see like a dark steel underneath. So, I mean, it, it's, one thing, maybe it could be like a workhorse. I don't really have a whole lot of experience with revolvers in general. This is really my first snubby. I mean, I used to have a Taurus and a Rossi and stuff like that, but as far as like, you know, the two kings of revolvers, you got Colt and you got Smith. So um, to be honest, I mean, I, I couldn't even tell you which one would be stronger, tougher. Um, they, they both seem pretty equal in that category to me. I'd like to say, the Smith has this, you know, blue collar thing to it yeah. where it's like, this is an every man's gun where the Colt, I don't know if you can agree with this, but the Colt's got that cult following. Yeah. It's got like, they're desirable, they're sought after, they're, you know, oh, I've got a Colt, you've got a, a it brings a name, like a mystique and a name to it. I can see that because the Colt has always had the very pretty collectible guns too, the Anacondas, uh, the Python. Right. You know, those are all Colts. Smith, yes, they make some amazing revolvers as well. And to be honest, I'm partial to the Smiths because everything I happen to own ends up being a Smith. This is your patrol officer backup, your patrol officer, your detective. This is your chief, your 
So it should be switched. Ends. The name yeah, should, be should be switched. switched. <laughs> but that's how I see it. I see yeah. that this has got this higher class of kind of person ranking, yep. as you would say. A higher ranking in, in the rank and file where a Colt, it's got that. Colt stopped making revolvers. Yep. This myth has never stopped. So right. that also brings that kind of mystique like that. Oh, this is going to sit in my safe and it's going to collect dust and it's going to get earn money. Yep. Where I want to shoot this because I love it. <laughs> but yeah. True. No, that makes sense. I think the frames are just about the same size but the cylinders are gonna be a bit different. And now it doesn't seem like it's a big difference, but when you're holding it, that six shot does actually expand that cylinder quite a bit. Um, whereas the five shots, it, it's very limited capacity. Modern capacity for like these micro compact guns. I have a nine millimeter, my 365 has a 15 round mag in it. Literally three times the capacity of the revolver, which actually weighs a little bit more than that gun too. So, um, but that being said, back in the day when these guns came out, you know, they're ankle guns, you know, for the most part, you know, something you're going to put here down on your ankle. I would so. say, you know, if we take it back, we, I would say in the last 10 years, we've been spoiled, right? Yep. So let's take it back to the beginning of concealed carry as we kind of know it. So we'll say that the 70s, 80s, these were the micro compacts. These mm -hmm. were the pocket guns. Uh, there weren't very many... I mean, other than that, you know, you got your 22s, you got your tip up, you know, eight shot, yep. 25s. This was the kind of powerhouse that we you've got a powerful package and a small gun. And this is where the big thing is this is where Plus P started, 38 Special Plus P started. And you got, you know, imagine back in the day you're running this with Super Bells. This yep. is, that was the, the standard. And, Yep. You know, it's hard to say which one is better because they both have their pluses and minuses. And, you know, this has got six, that's got five, this has got a shrouded ejector rod, this has got a wider hammer. It's so, a personal opinion. Yeah, it's like opinion. when it comes down to it, it's it really does come down to personal opinion. If we had to give an answer as to which one is actually better. Now, and what the, what I mean by that is, is Kyle busy? Is he still having a meeting? No, Kyle. Okay. I wonder if we should have Kyle, we'll put the revolvers on the table and be like, pick one, not for real, but this is the only gun you'll ever be able to shoot. Yeah, it's from Kyle. All right. That's it. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna stage these. I'm not the one asking about So Kyle, I couldn't oh. grab it. Oh, I got our right. director of marketing, Kurt. All right. Okay, we're talking flood guns. Guys, <laughs> all right, have a seat right here. All right, all right. So, you have two revolvers in front of you. Yep, yep. They are the absolute competitor of each other back when they came out. Yep. Back in the funny days. Back in the funny days. <laughs> so, if you had to pick one gun, uh huh. Feel free to molest them, handle them, Ooh, cycle okay. them, dry fire. At least mine, if you're good with yours. Um, yep, yep, yep. That's a Smith and Wesson 36, mm -hmm. the Chief Special that you handled, and you're handling yep. the Detective Special that Colt. Ooh. Mm. Nickel plated. Yep. And the other one is stainless. So funny. This is so funny. <laughs> you have almost the same exact expression as Tactical Toolbox did. Right? Yeah. You hate them both, right? I do. I do. <laughs> yeah. So these these are our questions, huh? These are our questions. All right. Okay. And 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 we can't do this, right? Nope. That's way too space age. Dang it! All right. That's six. Wait. This one five. Yep. Ooh. Anchor gun. A little smaller, a little thinner. Yeah. 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 The biggest part. Yeah. I'm not too sure if you're up to date on ammo prices. It's, well, you know, I know a guy. <laughs> but 38 is a little expensive, so five rounds helps you pace yourself a little more. Mm, but you know, <laughs> you know, yeah. So, this is tough, man. This is really tough. Yeah. But I think at the end of the day... Before you choose. Okay, all right. Pull the hammer back and then fire a single shot, single action Ooh, on both okay. of them. All right, yeah. Because the triggers yeah. are amazing on these guns, yeah. both of them. Ooh, that is nice. And we're gonna check double action too, because yeah. we can. 
Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right. I wonder how many of the Karens are flinching right now because they're dry firing. I know, a, a I know. Pin hammer. Yeah, I know. My, my dad taught What's me up? don't do that, but you know. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You know what? Okay, okay. It changes things a little too. In my professional, funny <laughs> opinion. Yep. This is tough. But we're going this. We're going. We're going right here. Ooh, Colt. I think we're Tactical going. Toolbox had the same opinion as well. Yeah, I think so. I think we're definitely going Colt. Right. Why? Why? Uh, I I I do like the extra round, and I will say that the uh, the trigger pull on both single and double action is a lot better. All so right. That's just me. The king has spoken. I don't know about that, but there you go. <laughs> Thanks, guys.